Um, my name is Patrick, as you heard, and uh, as you can see, I'm kind of fumbling around here with my uh, the new tools. These are all. Uh, there's a lot of new um, tools in uh, Maya 2016. I say the new tools, but also uh, really great subtle tweaks to existing tools and, and workflows. So as you get used to it, this is going to be uh, a really great upgrade for Maya. Uh, as you may notice, we're in 2016, and there's a lot of uh, changes happening. I say changes because some of the things are not absolutely complete or, or different tools are being um, uh, kind of taken and put out to pasture, if you will. So as you can see over here in this uh, tab, this tab here, where, where I've got the polygons tab, you'll see that there's this color coding happening. So you've got this orange happening for polygons, and say under curves and surfaces, you've got this like light blue. Um, however, you'll start to see some of the old icons over here. And that's because there's, there's some tools that are kind of going away. And as you can see, I've made um, uh, kind of little buttons for them, whatever, in my shelf. So at least Maya respects that and doesn't blow them away. Um, but there's, there's tools that are replacing some of those tools. So uh, you won't really need them anymore. Uh, and in fact, sometimes you go and I've, I've had this problem where I go to look for them and they don't exist anymore. And I'm like, where are they? And they still exist in Maya, but they've literally disappeared from the interface. So either you have to um, make a simple custom script or something to get it back. But as I've been playing with them, playing with the tools, you realize that they've been replaced. All right, so that's the color coding. Um, you'll also see that there's icons in the marking menus. So if I hold down Shift and I right click here, you'll see that there's all these uh, like uh, polyplane and polycylinder, polycone. You see all these, all these orange icons are here, and they are um, in the marking menu, so that helps a lot. I've also seen demos where when you come up to the menu up here, you'll see those same icons. But on my Mac, they don't exist yet. So uh, the, again, that's what I kind of mean by in process and change, because they're, they're coming, the, these changes are coming, but they're not complete just yet. All right. So um, that's what I was doing there was I was holding down Shift and right clicking. And you can see that uh, the marking menu there. Uh, let's see here. There's a uh, new hotkey editor that will help um, uh, with your creation of hotkeys. So let's go look at that real quick. If you go to Windows and Settings, you'll see it's in green here, or with these green brackets, which means it's a new feature. Click on the hotkey editor, and wait a second, and you'll see that there's this um, great new way of creating hotkeys. Um, so as long as you, let's see, you can actually click on these um, buttons here, like I'm holding down Shift, and you can see what keys are uh, available and which ones are not. This kind of um, bluish green is are, are all taken, if you will. If I hold down Shift and Control or any a modifier, it'll actually tell you which ones are, are being used. Um, so that's pretty handy. And you can see I've already made a, a hot, um, hot key set here. But you've got your defaults, and then you can duplicate them, and then you can make your own. So I'll go down here to choose a category, and you can see that like under Menu Items, um, a, a one that I always setting is the uh, center pivot. So you can see that I have set my center pivot to 8. Uh, but it's easy to delete that. So I'll just hit the little X here. And now it's gone. You actually can see it over here in the keys that it's gone. And I could hit Save and Close. Um, but you also, um, let me just show you that. Then if I come over here to Modify, then you'll see that next to center pivot, there's no key there. All right. So that's another thing that's really handy is, is that they're starting to put these um, these hotkeys and whatnot in here. So as you can see, there's not a lot of them. Um, like, for instance, F8 is here. But let's go and change that back. So we'll go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, back to Hotkey Editor. And then I will go to Menu Items, and then go to Modify. And I'll go over here to Center Pivot, and I'll change this back to 8. I just hit the 8 key and hit Save and Close. And now, when I go to Modify, you'll see that it says 8 here which is pretty handy. Uh, another thing that I'm, I, you may have noticed in the hotkey editor is that you can uh, not only uh, use menu items and editors, but you can do custom scripts. So you can have scripts that someone's already created or whatnot, and you can actually write them in here if you would like. And you can make a, um, a quick key to, to launch that script if you'd like. So just wanted to let you guys know about that, that you can do custom scripts. I'm going to close this. All right, your hotkeys are portable. Um, one more time, I'm going to open this up. 
hotkey editor, and I just want to show you that, um, let's see, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's see here, hotkey, hotkey, so you can save and close, oh, here, under this gear, you can say that you can duplicate them, you can rename them, but you can see you can export them and import them. So just wanted to let you know that that's where you would go if you wanted, if you had your, your hotkeys were perfect and you wanted to just save them and do a little script and then whenever, from bring it with you wherever you go. So I'll just uh, close this. All right.